guys! Today we threw the guinea pigs a surprise Halloween party. We made tons of Halloween decoration out of vegetables so that the guinea pigs could do what they do best, eat. I'm going to show you how to make all of these DIYs at the end of the video. First, let's see the guinea pigs have some fun during their Halloween surprise party. So we just set everything up for the guinea pigs party. Nugget is watching us, <laughs> making sure no one is going to steal her food. Gatsby, meanwhile, eating hay. Sylvester is teeth chattering at me because he probably smells all of the veggies and is really annoyed that the door is currently closed. Nugget is already ready to attack the food. Nugget! You don't know what Halloween is, but I think you're going to like it. Okay, piggies, here we go. This is your surprise pre-Halloween party.
So the first thing that we made was this veggie graveyard and what you need for this is an eggplant, a kohlrabi and a broccoli. The first thing you need to do is to cut the kohlrabi into thin slices and then you can cut out a gravestone out of these slices. We also made a base for the gravestone so that they don't fall down and the guinea pigs can't really knock them over. And then we used the black part of the eggplant to cut out a rest in peace sign. And surprisingly, it's stuck to the gravestone. So we kind of figured maybe we have to use a banana because banana is kind of the glue of the fruit world um, to make the rest in peace sign actually stick on the gravestones. But it turns out eggplant sticks to karabi. So we didn't have to do anything. It really stuck well to the gravestone. And if you don't believe me, here's footage of it actually sticking without us putting anything on the kohlrabi. Then you just cut out the broccoli and these are going to be the trees in your graveyard. And this is what it looks like. You can decorate it in any way. We used a little bit of hay and parsley and some of the kohlrabi leaves to kind of make it look more green. I like to make it really appear like a graveyard. The second thing we made for the guinea pigs was a little cauldron, which was really fun. And what you're going to need for this is an eggplant, a cucumber, and something that you can cut a stick out of. So we chose a piece of kohlrabi because we already had that at home, and then perhaps some dill or parsley. For this, you're going to need to cut the eggplant in half and then to carve out a cauldron out of the bottom part of the eggplant. Then we took the cucumber and cut it in half and then used a spoon to carve out some of the green stuff of the cucumber to make it look like a witch's brew. Then I decorated it with a tiny stick made out of a kohlrabi leaf and also some parsley. And this is it! The last thing we made for the guinea pigs was some red beet salad and an eyeball. <laughs> and what you're going to need for this is some red beetroot some of the inside of an eggplant and some of the outside of an eggplant. We cut the beetroot into tiny pieces and then carve an eyeball, which means just a regular ball, <laughs> out of the inside of an eggplant. Then cut out a circle out of the outside of the eggplant and place it on your eyeball. So these were some of the things we made for the guinea pigs. So we had a veggie graveyard, we had an eyeball on a red beet salad, we had a cauldron and then we also had a bucket full of hay with the rest of the parsley and the dill. I hope you enjoyed this video and see you guys next time! Bye!